Hi folks and welcome back to Gamers Web. Um, today I'm going to take a look at something uh, slightly different. Uh, this is The World of the Orville by Jeff Bond. Um, this is a coffee table book, um, as it probably can be guessed by the title, uh, set around the uh, fictional world of the Orville, the TV series, TV series created by Seth MacFarlane. Um, I only got this delivered the other day. I saw it on, uh, I think it was on a Facebook group because I'm a member of a few of the Orville Facebook groups, and I think it was on the Orville cosplay group that somebody posted um, a picture of it. So I thought I'll track this down. I managed to get a copy for uh, 17.99, brand new, still string wrapped as you can see and um, post free. So um, that's the front of the book. Well, there's the Orville itself over a nice planet. And on the back, there we go. Fourth time award winner Seth MacFarlane creates a new sci-fi drama set in the universe on the Fox network with his new saw, The Orville. MacFarlane plays Captain Ed Mercer, an officer in the Planetary Union in the 21st century who gathers a crew from the furthest reaches of the galaxy, his ex-wife included, to man the exploration vessel, Orville, to patrol the mysteries of the deep space. Uh, filled with alien species, exotic worlds, futuristic technology and awe inspiring spaceships, this lavish companion to the Orville takes you behind the scenes through concept art, on-set photography, technical schematics to explore the show's production designs, costumes, makeup, prosthetics and visual effects. This is the ultimate guide to this new space-furring epic adventure. So, all in all, looks pretty good. Um, right, one of the things that really inspired me to get this is... Um, one of the costumes that I really want to do is um, I want to do an Orville uh, costume for this year for cosplaying. And, um, I'm very inspired by the actual... Um, sorry, I can't get my tripod right. right there we go. I'm inspired by the, uh, the Orville costumes themselves. They look brilliant. They look very much like uh, Captain Scarlet. Um, which I think might have been a bit of an influence. Um, the costume designer is Joseph Porro, who um, is pretty famous in uh, the world of costuming. The guy is pretty flamboyant. Uh, I, think in his, I think he's in his late 60s. He looks like he's in his early 20s. He kind of age, he defies age, um, but he's been around for a long, long time and he's worked on lots and lots and lots of programs from Battlestar Galactica onwards. He's done all sorts of uniform designs. And um, I just love his work. Um, the ones that really attracted me to his work first time round was the uniforms in Stargate, the um, the movie, which were phenomenal. The He designed all the uniforms for that and I think he got nominated for an Oscar for it, which uh, it's good going. Okay, anyway, I'm digressing. Um, the reason I bought this is basically, I do like the Orville and I do like the costume, so I'm going to jump straight in. I've not seen inside this because, as you can see, it's still shrink wrapped. And um, that comes the hard part. Always difficult to do on cam, which is why I normally do it off cam, but i um, just going to get this out of the way and we can have a quick look inside. I'm not going to go through every page, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of it um, because I haven't read it myself. So, um, Right. As I say, it's not diff it's not easy trying to take off the cellophane, but there we go. Right, it's quite a hefty book. It weighs in at about 200 and odd pages, uh, which I'll get to a page count in one moment. Um, I'm going to go further into the review. Okay, so um, it's very well bound. Uh, as I say, uh, right, so... So we we'll start off, we've got an our contents page. Just moving in that a little bit. Okay, so our contents, we've got uh, a forward by Brana Braga, um, a forward by David A. Goodman, and a forward by Jason Clark. Um, Brana Braga is, um, he was one of the forerunners, uh, the showrunners on Deep Space Nine and Star Trek Next Generation, and has been involved in lots and lots of other programs uh, over the years. He's a um, really good visionary. And then we've got the world of the Orville, the Orville Union Mission Fleet, Orville Concepts, Bridge, Union Ranks. And then we've got the character backgrounds for Ed Mercer, Ed's Office, Commander Kelly Grayson, John Lamar, Claire Flynn, Medical, Sick Bay Technology, sorry, Sick Bay Medical Technology, The Lab, Isaac, Simulator, Alara Kitan, um, The Brig, Weapons Tech, Yafit, uh, Engineer, Synthesizer, Gordon Malloy, uh, Commander Botrus, uh, shuttle base, shuttles, the Krill, so we've got Krill ships, fighters, shuttle destroyers, 
chapel, classroom, exploration, New York, Ed's apartment, uh, Dorelio, Union headquarters, Union Dockyard, Epsilon 2, Calvin Zoo, Bioship, Moculus, uh, uh, Moculus, sorry, which is um, where uh, Bortus comes from, uh, Priya, which is where uh, Alara comes from, um, Sargus 4, Burden Ships, Nevin Cruiser, Clones, uh, Hollowback, Smuggler's Ship, and Medieval Planet. Okay, so um, that's just a quick look at the contents. Uh, um, because of the way the Orville, I'm just going to raise my, my tripod a little bit so I can get a better view. There we go. Right, because of the way the Orville's set, um, it's a brand new universe. Uh, everybody is new to it. So the only people who actually know anything about the Orville are the creators like Seth MacFarlane and uh, the writers. Uh, so we are basically now, as I speak, we are on just about to have episode six of season two go live as of the date today, which is the 30th of January 2019. Um, so episode six is just about to go live tomorrow, or sorry, the day after in uh, the States. And we'll get it um, two weeks later because we're two weeks behind. Okay, so jumping right in. So you've got the direct in the Orville um, with a forward by Brennan O'Bragger. Brennan O'Bragger, sorry, not Brennan O'Bragger. Um, writing the Orville and making a movie every week. So um, these guys have a have the hands full because, you know, they are making basically a mini movie every, every week. So we go like, um, so there's... Uh, John Favreau, who directed the pilot with Seth MacFarlane and one of the Krill cast. Now, John Favreau is no stranger to um, the worlds of science fiction because John Favreau was a director behind Iron Man and um, he's done quite a lot of really cool uh, stuff. As well as a good actor as well, he actually plays Happy Hogan in um, the Iron Man and Avengers movies and, of course, the Spider-Man movies. Okay, so I'm not going to go into them too much in the background, but we've got some concept art here uh, by Andrew Probert. Um, the Orville is pretty new, unique compared to some of the television shows that are around at the moment because 99% of the effects are practical. They're not phys they're physical effects. They're not actually digital. They do use digital, as you can see here. There's a 3D rendered ship, but most of them are actually uh, practical models, so they build these models going old school. And a lot of these guys are ex-industrial light and magic, uh, which is, uh, you know, the mecca for um, your uh, science fiction. So, there's a look at the ship itself, uh, the mission of the United States, the United, the United, the Union's mission, the exploration of our galaxy and the development of peaceful relations with other planets and societies. The fleet. And then we've got the different sizes of ships. So, the Orville is... Uh, that size, it's that one, and then we've got the big chips at the top, right? So I'm just going to quickly flick through. I'm not going to, like I said, spend too long on this, but um, this is really good value for money. Lots of details on the costumes, which is what I really wanted it for. So if we actually look here, I'm just going to zoom in, and you can see, you know, the detail on the uniform, on the badge. Like, Perfect, great. It's just what I want because all the images I've got at home are quite grainy. Um, and when you're trying to re uh, replicate something as a costume for a convention, um, it's something that you need. Uh, you need lots of artwork. So there's John Lamar, who's in engineering. So Ed Mercer's in command. And it follows a very similar um, pattern to... Uh, there's Claire Finn, who she's medical, uh, to Star Trek, where Star Trek is broken down into different divisions, and of course the Union's broken down into similar divisions, so you've got sciences, um, engineering, command, operations, uh, security, they're all broken down. Well, fantastic. Isaac, who's an artificial life form. Yeah. And there's uh, Alora Katan, who's just left the show. Sorry if that's a spoiler for anybody, but she leaves in uh, season two. Um, and is replaced by uh, another one of her species. Okay. And there's Jaffet, a blob-like alien, which is great because he's actually an alien alien. He doesn't look like a person with two arms and two legs, uh, which... <laughs> 
have a synthesizer, which is the same as a replicator in Star Trek. Um, Botrus sitting on his egg. And there's Botrus's partner, Clyden, who's played by the same character who plays um, uh, Fred. 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 My name, my brain's gone. He plays Fred in uh, The Expanse, um, who's a bad guy, but he's not... A, Fred Anderson, but he's not a bad guy, he's a good guy. Um, Fred Anderson's brilliant. Is it Fred Anderson? That's Anderson Dawes. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm getting confused. But anyway, he's a really good actor, and his part in um, The Expanse is fantastic. Okay, so just a little bit of Luke. There's a cr krill. It's very much like one of the um, Donna Kinsler books that you can get. Um, but you do also get concept art like this here as well, which is really great. Um, I've only seen a few people cosplaying from uh, the Orville at the moment, but um, I'm sure as, as the show goes on, we'll get to see more and more people. Uh, okay, so the purple is um, Admiralty. That's their, um, their colour scheme is purple. And there's also an orange one as well. Right, and uh, there's somebody else who was uh, um, Brian George played um, Dr. Julian Bashir's father in Star Trek Deep Space Nine. He's also the husband of um, Ava Solera in uh, The Expanse, <laughs> which is great. Okay, okay. Calvon Zoo, which is uh, one of the first season episodes. All this artwork and all these things are basically from the first season. Okay, and there's Mocklus, which is the uh, Mockland homeworld. Right, so that's just a quick look at uh, this book. Um, might actually um, inspire someone to go out and buy it, because it does look very good. I'm really looking forward to reading through this. So that was my quick look through the um, World of the Orville by Jeff Bond. And it's available from Titan Books. And I'll just give you the page count. It's 160 pages, which is good value for money for 17.99. I'll leave the link to the um, actual eBay uh, shop that I bought this from, so you can pick it up um, quite cheap because its retail price is 29.99. So that's it. Um, let me know what you think. Do you like the Orville? Um, do you think it's as good as Star Trek? Do you think it's better? Do you think it's the Star Trek that we should have got with Discovery? Or um, is it just Seth MacFarlane doing um, his sketch comedy routines without the dick and joke farts? Uh, dick, and joke. dick and fart jokes. I really am losing my train of thought today. Anyway, as always, I've been Mark. If you let us know down in the comments down here, that would be great. Uh, <laughs> As I say, I am really losing it because I'm not having much sleep. As always, I'm Mark, Gamers Web. By gamers, for gamers.